King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, Thursday. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude Tadeus will now begin. Please stand. Great St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, Desolations, endless pleading, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy clients' suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy clients' suppliant. Human hearts in desperation Meet the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened By your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless, ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to our novena to St. Jude Tadeus. And um, I would like to um, also include these intentions uh, from the members of uh, the uh, sons and daughters of St. Jude. And these <clears throat> are the intentions of uh, Lita uh, Ilano, um, Rosie Ros Suntai, um, Johnny Helen C., Paul Carol Galang, Mary Rose uh, Navarro, Joe Valencia. And uh, for the gift of life, thanksgiving, and healing of uh, Mencho, then Chavez. So um, we pray for these intentions. And um, also um, thanksgiving for the gift of life and uh, good health and also the gift of uh, my ordination to uh, the priesthood because uh, I'm celebrating my birthday today. <clears throat> In this letter, St. Jude Tadeus says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask Him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge Your name, graciously grant 
through the intercession of St. Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ have mercy, have mercy on, us. on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the, the hands of Jesus, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost, pray for, pray us. for us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith, pray, pray for us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit, pray, pray for us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude who disregarding the threats of the impious courageously preach the doctrine of Christ. Pray, pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray, pray for, for us. Novena Prayer Together, Saint, Saint Jude, glorious, glorious Apostle, faithful, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, Jesus the, name the name of the person who betrayed our Lord, Lord has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the true Church invokes you universally as a patron of the desperate. Pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolation and the success of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly And that I may, I may bless, bless God, God with the elect throughout all eternity. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, worker of miracles, miracles please, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. 
Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim. Blessed, Blessed Apostle, with confidence, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. And now we proceed to our uh, Eucharistic celebration. Let us now uh, be sorry for our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll, and from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the seven four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders had a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priest for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. 
Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their market. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. be with you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord as jesus drew near jerusalem he saw the city and wept over it saying if this day you only know what makes for peace but now it is hidden from your eyes for the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you, they will encircle you and hem you in, in all your sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you, and they kill. They will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, our viewers of the live streaming, the um, <clears throat> Gospel of today is telling us about uh, our Lord looking at the uh, uh, temple of Jerusalem and uh, he wept over it because um, he said that um, this uh, temple will be destroyed um, and uh, that nothing will be left um, from this temple. Now, um, actually, our Lord is uh, talking about the uh, um, invasion of uh, Jerusalem to the um, uh, colonizers, and these uh, were the Romans. And uh, they uh, will destroy uh, temples and uh, the city of Jerusalem. Now, this destruction of Jerusalem um, is some kind of a punishment uh, to uh, the Jews because they did not accept our Lord when He came. Uh, and was born uh, in uh, their country. They did not have faith in our Lord in spite of all the good things and miracles that he did. And that is why he said uh, 
they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. Well, that happened really uh, when the Romans conquered uh, the uh, state of uh, uh, the Jews. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, th what happened in Jerusalem was a preview of the coming of uh, God in the end of the world. So ito po ay uh, uh, prefigurement of the destruction also of the world. Uh, and before that, it would be the uh, last judgment. Kaya naman po, uh, we are talking or reading in the gospel about this because uh, our liturgical calendar or calendar of the priests uh, of the uh, church rather will uh, end already this coming Sunday uh, on the feast of uh, Christ the King so uh, uh, destruction of Jerusalem will be a prefigurement of the end of time or the end of the world Alam ninyo, may mga uh, tao, mga sekta na nagpipredict uh, tungkol sa pagdating ng uh, end of the world. But uh, we have to be very careful about this uh, uh, so-called uh, prophecies because there were so many who have predicted the end of the world but they never came. There was a group in Tagaytay when we were studying there in the seminary about a certain group who went to the, uh, to the hills uh, because they thought that the end of the world uh, and the last judgment would happen there. And that was in the year 1960s. Siguro hindi pa kayo yung mga iba dito ay... Naibe, uh, naging tao. But you know, uh, their prediction never came true. And many of them had died already, and the end of the world did not yet come. That is why our Lord had been saying when He was asked, um, wh When is the end of the world? And He said, No one knows that. The angels uh, of heaven knows, and neither the Son of Man, meaning to say he was referring to himself, doesn't know, but our, your heavenly Father. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, I think that uh, uh, we should not be too uh, alarmed about, you know, reports of the end of the world that will come soon. And uh, maybe uh, thinking that uh, we should uh, uh, just relax and take things easy. But then uh, the truth of the matter is the end of the world will come when the Lord takes us from this life to the next life. Meaning when we die, when we pass away, that is the end of the world for us. So we should not be uh, so preoccupied with thinking about the end of the world. Maybe 10 years from now or 100 years more from now. But the end of the world is when we die. Because when we die, we cannot anymore, we cannot anymore even uh, uh, experience the end of the world. So uh, what we should do rather is that we should always be prepared that uh, when the Lord will uh, take us then uh, the, that is the end of the world for us the end of our life on earth and so uh, we must ask ourselves when the Lord will take me 
will I be at peace with God? Are there some sins that uh, I have not repented? Or uh, what good uh, deeds have I done to my fellow men? Because we will be judged on what good we have done in our life to the least of Christ's brethren. You know, I always emphasize this because it was Jesus Christ himself said that we should do works of mercy. We should reach out to the less fortunate. I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was sick and in prison, you visited me. Enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, katap- sa katapusan, tayo po, mga kapatid, ay huhusgahan kung ano ang mga kabutihan na gawa natin. O, lahat ba ay puro mga uh, kalukuhan o uh, mga kasalanan na hindi natin uh, pinagsisihan? So, uh, this is what we should be prepared uh, for. And if we do not, then when we come face to face with God in the last judgment, then, well, He will judge us whether to go into punishment or to go to heaven. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters and our streamers, um, let us always remember this. Somebody said, um, a prophet, that if you uh, know that you will die one day and you do not know when, well, that should remind you about your life, whether you're li- living a good life or whether there are things that you should uh, change and make reform, whether you have enemies, so that when that time comes, then we are ready to meet our Lord in the next life. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, this is therefore um, an important thing that we do to be reminded about this and to do something about our uh, sins that we have been committing and seek penance and sorrow and reform for all the sins we have committed. Amen. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to the eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a living sign and instrument of unity and peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. That we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus even in suffering. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too exalt Stall you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here for our Mass, and our viewers of this uh, live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, let us uh, pray the prayer Christ our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. A and with your spirit. And now, let's greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Reminder, the Holy Communion will be done by rows starting from the right side facing the altar. Ushers will guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. 
Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray, pray for, for us. St. Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Rock, pray for us. St. Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. St. Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinadimitz, pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. On November 19, 20 at 21 at 6.20 a.m., we, have, uh, we will have a Tridom Masses in honor of Christ the King. The Feast of the Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, is on November 22, 2020. Our online Masses are at 8 a.m., Fiesta Mass at 10 a.m., to be presided by Father Jerry Orbus, SVD, via live at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. There will be an 11.30 a.m. Mass instead to accommodate those who wish to physically attend our Masses and at 4 p.m. In connection with the celebration of the Feast of Christ the King on November 22, 2020, the 10 a.m. Holy Mass will not be open to the public. This is to give way to the SVD priests, brothers and seminarians community celebration in accordance with the IATF regulations and the allowed number of attendees in a mass gathering. The Community of Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City joyfully invites you to the online musical concert Hari Nawa featuring our SVD College seminarians and special guests like Father Jerry Orbos SVD on November 20 to 21, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. and November 22, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. in commemoration of the Solemnity of Christ the King of the Universe and the fifth anniversary of Pope Francis's encyclical letter Laudato Si on the care of creation. May we find hope during the coronavirus crisis through prayer and music. The concert will be aired through the following social media pages, Password TV, Divine Word Media Facebook page, Moments of Father Jerry Orbos SVD, Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, St. Jude National Shrine Manila, SVD Scholastics Tagaytay, CKMS Christ the King Mission Seminary, Jesus' is Good News Facebook page, and cross-posted by the pages of our social media partners. This concert is dedicated to all of you, the people of God, especially to our benefactors, donors, alumni, and friends in the Philippines and abroad. Yours truly, Father Louis Ponzalan SVD, Office of Alumni Affairs and External Relations, Christ the King Mission Seminary. Brothers and sisters, uh, I would like uh, to thank also uh, those who have um, uh, donated uh, funds for our uh, Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program. So um, uh, I thank you. Uh, dear brothers and sisters and benefactors and uh, I would like to continue to make my appeal uh, to help our uh, seminarians uh, especially uh, those who come from poor families alam ninyo tayo po ay maswerte because uh, we still have uh, young men uh, in the Philippines who want to become priests, uh, brothers, and brothers and missionaries. But in other countries, uh, kokonti na lamang po ang mga uh, binata na pumasok sa seminaryo. Kaya uh, sana po ay uh, supportahan natin itong mga seminarista na nangangailangan ng financial help for their studies here in Christ the King 
and other seminarists. Kailangan natin ang mga seminarista dahil wala tayong magpapari, wala tayong misyonero, wala tayong obispo or santo papa kung walang mga seminarista. So, dear brothers and sisters, and our uh, live streamer and uh, streamers, we would like to appeal to you to please continue to help our seminarians. And sana po, I take this opportunity that uh, uh, magbigay po kayo ng birthday gift sa akin sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagtulong sa ating mga seminarians. So, if you are interested, you may email me uh, bellsvd uh, at gmail.com so, bellsvd at gmail.com at uh, yung akin naman pong uh, bank account ay uh, BDO Savings Isabelo San Luis and uh, the account number is zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three so thank you in advance and god bless you the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessings may almighty god bless you protect you from harm and evil and uh, may your intentions be answered by Saint Jude to the use, especially uh, uh, financial problems or serious sickness or uh, those uh, who have uh, emotional and psychological uh, ailments. Dear Saint Jude, we ask you to bless and heal them we know that you are uh, the saint of desperate and even hopeless cases. That is why, dear Saint Jude, help all those who invoke your help and favor as we end our novena and holy mass through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.